Emma from That's the West Coast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eight teams, 16 squads, 75 slots to fill. Welcome to the 100 Draft, powered by Sage. Quite a few Aussies in there, actually. Meg Lanning, I think she'd be a seriously good signing. Ash Gardner would be good. Beth Mooney, um, Jess Jonasson. So a load of Aussies, obviously, they're the world champions. Uh, Smitty Mandana, Southern Brave, didn't use her as a retention, but you can bet that Charlotte Edwards will want Smitty Mandana. Whether they're playing it smart and they'll use their right to match card or whether they'll get her anyway, we'll have to wait and see. Trust. You see a bit. Yeah, a bit. You are? You good, yeah, man. Everything locked so you've been loaded. followed. Sorry. Locked and loaded. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Sam, we've got Evelyn, we've got Nasser. We've got a victory for Who's, who's got at least Perry? Uh, Perry's with Birmingham Phoenix, doesn't she? Uh, yeah, Perry, stay, stay with Phoenix. A uh, couple of minutes to go and then we'll get cracking. Bet you're on tender hooks, waiting to find out who your teammates are going to be this summer. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a different feeling for the women this year, having it being a bigger draft. Mm. Um, and I know a lot of my teammates and, and people around are going to be sat on tender hooks, waiting to find out who's playing where. Birmingham Phoenix, number one on the list. They finished bottom of the table last year, had a bit of a shocker. They have selected first and they have gone back to Amy Jones. Welcome, NASA. Great to have you here. Great to be here. I mean, some interesting picks mm. already. Um, some brilliant names at the top of that board. Brilliant, brilliant cricketers. Okay, we're going to restart the third round of picks. £30,000 uh, salary band pick is with Birmingham Phoenix. The pick is Katie Levick. The pick is now with Manchester Originals. They've selected Lauren Filer. And the first selection in the next chunk of, uh, of the 100 draft powered by Sage was the Birmingham Phoenix. Now the Birmingham Phoenix have picked up Amy Jones, a wicketkeeper batter. They've picked up Risha Ghosh, a wicketkeeper batter. Their very next selection was Saren Smale, a wicketkeeper batter. Grace Ballinger, who is here uh, at uh, the 100 draft here in the, uh, the Shard, uh, she has been selected and she's going back home to the Northern Superchargers. She had a really good season with them last year. Yeah, I'm super excited. I mean, we had a great comp last year. Um, hopefully go one better this year, but I love the fans at Headingley. Um, obviously went undefeated last year at home, so we'd love to do that again. Did you have much of an idea that's where you might be heading? Um, I hope so. Uh, I always kept things pretty... <coughs> pretty good with superchargers um, communication was really good but I mean it's a draft so you never know what's going to happen but yeah um, perfect result for me today. I think the Southern Brave are looking very very fearsome uh, with the selections that they have made and the players that they have retained. Thank you. Here we go. If she comes online or should I just try and call her? Imagine if she doesn't, imagine if she oh, yeah. doesn't know. <laughs> Hi Tilly, it's Charlotte Edwards here. Oh my God. Oh my God. What, oh my God. I can't be that bad. Were you, are you a bit surprised? I was so surprised. I, I'm not going to lie to you, I completely missed it. So I put my phone down and then just went back to my phone and had loads of I completely missed it. Oh bless you. Are you so you 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 you're happy, are you? I'm so so happy. Thank you so much. Oh no, that's absolutely. These are the nice calls I get to do as a as a coach. Sometimes I don't have very nice ones to do, but this is the these are the best ones. I I am. I've been so watching sure. you for about twelve months, and I've been really impressed by you. And I didn't want anyone else to nab you in the wild card, so hence why I've signed you, because I think you're going to bring a lot to our team. We're, we're very lucky to have you, so all the best. See you soon. You. See Bye. you, Tilly. You. Bye. How good's that? <laughs> Ooh, that? I knew that was going to be a nice call. Did okay. she have it to clean? She had no she idea. Had no clue. No she, wouldn't have, she wouldn't have seen this one coming. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. should have probably maybe thought a wild card, but. I think I'd seen her and just thought that she offered something that I think she's a one. For, I think she's definitely a player for the future, and that's what you've got to look for. I think in in my role, it's not just the here and now. It's maybe you know a couple of years down the line. So 
Very good. Happy. <laughs> Um, thank you so much, as always, for your fantastic insight. You need a keeper. The Birmingham Phoenix have got one they can lend okay. <laughs> So, listen, we've got to move on. We've got plenty to get through. There we go. The women's draft is done. All eight teams have completed their picks. Thank you. Go ahead. It's going to be great, but... Um, when you're answering, do you think you just actually hand the mic to each other? I'm actually the least involved in the 100 out of all five of our... Members, including our producer, Sharky. Um, I'm not really affiliated with any team. I support Manchester Rangers being uh, from Manchester. Come down to the 100 and watch a game because you, you, you'll be surrounded by people who just want to have a nice time. Yeah. And in front of you will be some of the most talented cricketers on the planet. To be honest, I, I love the fact that after six years of doing our podcast that these guys are so in love with the game mm. and want to make a difference and want to be involved in it. So I'm just happy to sit back and watch them. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. No, no. You rattle through, yeah, yeah, much better than that. And there are some great players to pick from. So if you were in the hot seat, if you were Freddie tonight, Ooh. who would you be picking first? Well, yeah, I think looking at their um, kind of squad, uh, I think Tom Banton's gone back into the draft, so they probably need a wicketkeeper. And, and for me, one of the best in the world, apart from Josh Butler, of course, is uh, Nicholas Poran. So I'm thinking he'll go certainly in the top three picks. Right, thanks, everybody. Um, we are in position to get going with the men's draft. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, first round, £125,000 picks. The pick is going to be with Northern Superchargers. Uh, Tom, over to you to start the draft, please. Okay, the first pick of the men's draft is Nicholas Poran, overseas player from the West Indies. They have gone and mentioned about Nicholas Poran. They have made him their number one pick, and there's a lot to love about this. A left-hander, he can keep as well. We've selected Kyron Pollard. The pick is back with London Spirit for the last one at this round. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What are we talking about? Cricket. <laughs> 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 I haven't seen any of the fan questions yet, so we can all find out together. What is your dream five aside the hundred team? A mix of men and women. This is a big question. Who wants to start? Well, we've got four here actually. I'll take. Yeah, us how are your, your, your football skills? Bilbo rates himself next door. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Very high. Very high. <laughs> <laughs> and the final selection in the men's draft, the Trent Rockets. They wanted a left-hand opening batter. They have got that in Adam Live. So, uh, hugely experienced player for the Trent Rockets. The men's draft is done. I'm going for a sit-down. Well done. Darren Milan, quality player, left-hander at the top of the order as well, so a different dimension for us. Um, and yeah, number one T20 batter in the world probably a year or two ago. So uh, yeah, great pick. I knew kind of roughly what the team were looking to do coming into the draft, and I think it fell pretty much how they wanted to. Uh, it's going to be great to play with, with Laurie Evans again, having played with him at Sussex. So that's a really good pick up for us. Um, yeah, I think the boys have done really, really well, and I'm excited for the summer already. Yes, indeed. Make sure you join us on the 23rd of July when everything kicks off. We're going to be there and we hope you are too. Thanks for your company and we'll see you this summer. Take bye. care. Bye. Well done, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.